one, two, you know what to do. So much of what I create is something that I found and repurposed. There's a lot of cutting and paring down and tearing away at the origin of the object utility and making something new to confront the viewer with this unknown familiarity of something that once had a separate intended purpose. And by changing that object's origin, I'm asking the viewer in a way to repurpose that meaning and appropriate it into an art context. Right now, I'm really inspired by the cloud imagery that I'm using, and I'm drawn to that duality between what's natural and what is manipulated and controlled by the human hand. So I think it creates this juxtaposition, putting the digital images on hide or wood, and I'm really confronting the relationship between what's artificial and what's natural. It helps me get closer to knowing, just knowing more about materials and how they work and how you can bind and fuse with them and manipulate them. It's interesting to take things that were used by other people, a material that they may have once been attached to and that they no longer find of use for and finding value in that forgotten and discarded object. I think that I'm not trying to send a specific message, but I want to more ask the viewer to confront what they already know and to reconsider a relationship between the materiality of environment and their own perception. And I like people to sit with my work because you may start out with one feeling and then as you sit with it, your feelings change with the piece.